Okay, this is the Secondo for Heart and Soul. So if you notice, we have two base clefts. And um, here's, here's my favorite note, base C. It's on the second space. So if I drew a middle C, Right here, it would look, well, it would be one line above the staff right there. And if you notice on this other bass clef, this note is one line above the bass staff. So this is middle C right here, and this is bass C. So, my bass C is right here. I'm going to put my thumb on the bass C and my middle C is right here. So that's how far these are from each other. Okay, eight notes, bass C, middle C. You might look farther, but they're just, this is how far they are from each other. So you're left, the, this secondo part is very nice once you learn Two measures you know the whole thing because it's just the same two measures over and over so I'm going to do bass C go down a third or a skip to an A bass C A go down to an F so here we have an F chord starting from the top here's my F chord I'm going to start with the top note and then the middle note and the bottom and then my next note is just one step up and it's a G so I have C and then I rest A F G and that's what I play for the whole song the same pattern although when I get to the very end let's just learn the last two measures so there's actually four measures to learn these two repeated one two three four five six seven eight times and then when i get to my last two measures i'm going to play c and then instead of playing a it's a g so you might want to write that in and then this is my low c so c g c c g and low c I would probably play this G either with my second finger or my third finger, either one. Just, it makes it easier to get to this low C. If I do it with my fourth finger, then I have to jump a long ways to get down to there. So I'm gonna just put my metronome on. This is 80. I'm gonna play all my left hand. One, two, three, four. C, rest, rest, L. And here's the second time I did it. Third time. Fourth time. Probably the hardest part is falling asleep because you're just doing the same thing over six and seven and eight. Oh, maybe I'm counting wrong. One more. Eight. This is the last time and here we go. C, G, and then I Meanwhile, my right hand is playing a chord, four different chords. We have our C chord with middle C on the bottom. So the name of the chord, when it's stacked like a snowman, whatever's on the bottom is the name of the chord. C, and he skips down just like him. It's an A. Skip down to an F. And step up F chord and then the G chord over and over. C chord, put my thumb on A, put my thumb on F, put my thumb on G, 
and you just do that over and over. Okay, so if I put it together, C, C chord, A, chords quite so quickly you could practice your thumb playing each of the bottom notes of the chords so you can practice it this way So it's C, and so this time I'm going to play a G chord at the end. C, G, G chord, and then that whole note C. All right? Now, there's two ways you can play this piece. You can play it just the way it's written, and that's just fine. You'll have one, two, three, four beats in every measure. Or we can, you can double your notes, and I'll, I'll explain what. So instead of just playing one C, I could play two Cs and two chords. And I'll show you what I mean. So you've probably heard the piece. If you have, it sounds more like this to you. Two Cs, two chords, then I play two As, two As, two Fs, two Gs. and then two eighth note chords in the right hand over and over eighth note eighth note but I'm swinging them this is called a swing if I'm playing steady even eighth notes it sounds like this <laughs> swing the eighth notes. So let me do the three different ways. I'll do a group of four measures. So I could do quarter notes, steady, one, two,
to swing their eighth note. Like that. To now swing the eighth note. So as when you talk when you start practicing with your duet partner next week, you guys will need to decide are we just doing steady eighth notes or swinging the eighth notes? Or perhaps you just want to do the chords each beat and that's fine and then your duet partner can do what they want if they want to swing them or they can play them even anything goes on this duet just gotta have the right notes all right so those are the teaching tips for heart soul the piano duet secondo part